What's going on guys, welcome back to episode 2 of our No Money Spent account for NBA 2K22. Very, very exciting episode. I know it looks a lot longer than the first one and a lot longer than I promised. However, this episode contains a diamond pool and two drafts, full 10-0 draft picks. So we have, uh, we go through, I did this on stream, so if you guys want to watch me do this live, head across to my Twitch channel. But we went 10-0 twice and we sh I'll show you guys the full 62 total picks, I think it was. Uh, and that comes around later. Later in the episode, but we've got a lot of good stuff that happens. And once again, we have a diamond pool, a very, very important pool that we are able to add to our lineup. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, to start off this episode, we have a 2K day locker code. If you guys haven't put this in, I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes out, it may be expired, but we have a 2K day option pack. I absolutely love the addition of these option packs this year. You can see here, driving dunk, we have a few agents, but I have to take that diamond shoe. It'd be silly to take anything else. We get an Air Jordan diamond shoe here. Now, uh, last episode, we uh, were looking at Evo and Tatum. We finally do this here. Fully evolve him for his shooting upgrade. That means he gets a, I think it's an 85 three ball. So it's quite a nice, uh, nice, and uh, his jump shot's pretty smooth. So having that uh, attributes with that jump shot is very, very nice. You can see some of the attributes here, 85 three ball, 75 dunk, 76 hand, uh, ball handle, and a 76 speed. Very, very nice card to have in my lineup. And 31 silver badges, which is very nice this time of year. We get a starter option pack obviously, could we fully evolve Jason Tatum. Now, this was a big decision. I could have taken uh, a center. I was kind of lacking in the center position. I could have taken Jokic, but I will take Trey Young. He's probably the easiest out of all five to Evo, pretty much. You can see here, I'm, I was just lights out with this Trey Young. Once I got, it took me like one shot to get used to his jump shot. It's very, very fast compared to Tatum's, but I absolutely love it. His jump shot's a bit weird. You can see, I, I don't like the way he kind of like pulls from his chest sometimes, but he's a very nice jump shot. You can see here, absolutely dominating. It is triple threat offline, but guy, it is fun. And I don't know why, but triple threat offline has just been fun for me recently. You can see there we have fully evolved him, and we are now up to level seven. So we've gone from I think uh, I think we're level five at the end of the last episode, and we got gold dove and ham from that. Uh, we did get a shoe pack. Uh, we'll see what we got in this. Probably just a few shoe upgrades. It is too a uh, gold shoe, and there is Mr. Gold Darvin Ham as well. I don't think he'll mo really make my lineup. He'll probably be like a, a limited player if I need to sometime in the future. And you can see there we needed six points with Trey Young to fully or to evolve his first level. We do that and next we will be going with the shooting upgrade which is 25 layups and 150 points. Uh, now I didn't catch it on camera but look at this, we get a diamond pull uh, from Triple Threats offline. It was from the vault. I completely just skipped over it when I was playing, but welcome to the lineup 24, uh, number 24 from the Utah Jazz, Mr. Ron Boone. I'm very, very excited to have him in the lineup. 92 overall point guard, shooting guard from the Utah Jazz. Very, very exciting. Triple Threat rewards card. You can see here, six foot two, 200 pounds. He's got a 84 three ball, 89 mid range. He's Driving dunk's not right there. 89 ball handle, but most importantly, a 91 speed on a six foot two guy. I absolutely love that. And 27 gold badges. This is this is week one. 27 gold badges on my point guard now on my no money spent account. I cannot stress how good this is. Now with a lot of tokens, we do unlock Marquis Chris. That is a character, or that is a position we've been lacking at quite a lot. And we get another three tokens from playing triple threat and a lockdown defender pack. We get the deluxe pack here. See, hopefully we can pull an amethyst. We've been hoping. For a, for a few good pulls. Unfortunately, we get Devin Booker and Derek Harper, but they will still make good additions to my limited lineup. And we open up another pack here, getting uh, three uh, three little uh, contract and shoe boosts there, and then a Sapphire player pack as well, and we end up getting... I actually can't remember who we go. We end up getting James Johnson, which is very, very important for our lineup. We were lacking at the center position. We did pick up Marquez Chris, but now we have James Johnson, seven foot two, a deadly center inside, and I'm very excited to have him. Uh, now we did get those six tokens, which means we'll unlock Andre Robeson for pretty much for domination. He's a very, very good defensive player, so that'll be pretty handy to have. And we have three more tokens here, and we unlock Jaron Jackson. I'll tell you what, after using this Jaron Jackson card, you have to pick him up. You have to. Pick His jump shot is so smooth. I absolutely love it. I'd recommend to pick him up and. We now unlock the Sapphire tier here. Um, now, we don't have any tokens as of yet. We do get a few more Luca uh, collection uh, cards there. And we also get the camouflage ball from leveling up as well. Um, it's a pretty cool card, to be honest. I don't really mind it. I, I'm not a huge fan of the, the balls in this game. But anyway, we do go to level 10. So from 7 to 10, in a very, very short space of time, we've got their Mavericks current arena. 
Oh, pardon me. And uh, we also get the Season 1 ball from leveling up as well. Right back up a few more games later. This is after the limited game, so I was grinding limited here. And we get uh, level 11, uh, and we do get the Ascension board. So we have a chance at picking up. I've got who the Ascension player is, actually, now that I think about it. I, I'll wait for the top left. Marquise Johnson, that's it. So we do have a chance of getting him. You can see we had our two picks last time, and we're unable to get to the next level. Uh, we go again. We get 100 MT, but unfortunately, there are two more picks to go when we end up going. I thought I was kind of randomizing it once I do. I always just spin around and, and try to find. We get 200 MT, and then we get a standard league award pack as well. Now, I did complete this challenge here. It was 10 team assists and win the game for a playmaker award pack. After that game, I got to level 12, which was very, very good as well. And we get the 300 MT from completing that challenge, as well as getting the post scorer award pack, which I'm very happy to, to look at as well. Play our first game of Domination. Uh, we get the Domination 1 star pack uh, from completing the first star. Domination 2, and then Mr. Mike Dunleavy when it wants to show up there. Mike Dunleavy for completing the 76ers all-star um, Domination game. Now, up to level 14 already. We are telling you, we've just been upgrading, upgrading, trying to get there. Level 14 already, which is very, very fun. Hawk Statement uniform, completing a few more challenges. And Emerald Larry Nance Jr. I'm, I actually haven't used him yet. Uh, at the time of recording this video, I actually haven't used him, so I will be excited to. Update on, this is actually my limited lineup. So this is what I was running on uh, limited this weekend. I was running the uh, I was running Boone and James Donaldson. I'm pretty sure this is what I was running for my limited lineup. I think it's changed actually recently. You can see that was when I was level nine. So it has changed a little bit. Uh, and we decided to do my first draft, my first no money spent draft here. Very, very exciting stuff. And I'll tell you what, it's this one and my next one, which are some of the best drafts you can get possible. These are absolutely some of the best drafts you can get possible. We start off here with the Colossal cards. We get Damien Lillard, Manu Ginobili, and Michael Porter Jr. A fantastic three to start us off there. That Damien Lillard is so incredibly good. I cannot I cannot say enough how good it is. Uh, we have a choice between our coaches now, Billy Donovan, Eric Spolstra, and Jamal Mosley. I uh, I actually did this on stream, so if you guys wanted to, uh, once again, want to watch this on stream, head across my Twitch channel. I'll be streaming tomorrow when this video comes out. This is coming out at 10 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time um, on, I think, Tuesday night. I'll be streaming on Wednesday at, at around 11 a.m. So if you want to swing through and say g'day, uh, we have a choice at point guards to back up Mr. Damien Lillard. I end up choosing Jean Morant and Ricky Rubio. Not a great selection there, but obviously Damien Lillard is pretty much going to be running the whole time. I'm not going to take him off. He's an absolute demon. Now, shooting guard position to back up Mr. Manu Ginobili. We get the choice of Terrence Ross. We also get Nick Anderson, which is very nice. Nice. His jump shot, if you've used Nick Anderson, you know he's very nice. So we took Nick Anderson and Terrence Ross there to back up Mr. Manu Ginobili. Uh, but these are very, like, overall, so far, very, very nice. I'm, I'm worried about the center position, but for now, very happy with our backcourt. Now, for small four, we have Paul George, Brandon Ingram, and... Scotty Pippen. I cannot... Oh, I love this lineup so far. Scotty Pippen, like, not the greatest shooter in the NBA, but this this lineup and on the difficulty that uh, draft is on, he will hit shots consistently. I can't reinstate that enough. Now, for our powerful position, we have the choice of Buck Williams, Danny Manning, and the man himself, Mr. Bo Outlaw. So not a great selection for the backup four. We take, I took Buck Williams just in case our center wasn't fantastic, but this is where good things happen to us. This is where good things happen to us. Our center position, Kevin McHale... And also, Mr. Oh, wait for it, Chris Kamen. I cannot talk to you enough. Chris Kamen is so nice on draft. He is so damn good on draft. Setting screens for Damian Lillard. This guy is amazing. Now, here it is here. 10-0. Done. You, look at that. Click of a button. It's done. You don't have to watch any of that. If you do want to watch it, it's on my Twitch streams. We have our center board. 31 picks here. 30 boards. 30 picks on the top board itself. I was getting very, very lucky there. Now, I have sped this up. I guess, I, I mean, you can probably guess what happens because I did do a second draft and you can probably assume, look at all this MT. We are getting extra picks. I think the amount of picks I get total throughout this episode adds up to over 70. It's honestly ridiculous, but you will see what happens. We're getting a lot of MT Ruby player packs, 10 tokens there, which is quite handy for us. Some more tokens, multipliers, Nothing's really going for us right now. The stream was trying to help me out. People in the chat were trying to trying to give me advice on where to go. You can see I was like flicking back and forth the wherever they were saying in chat. Um, if you guys do want to help me with this in the future, maybe future seasons, or if I do more draft boards, head across to the Twitch once again. You guys can help me out. Just select whatever tile you want, and I will open it. You can see final four here now is where it really got me nervous. One token. How much of the board have I completed, by the way? Look how much I've cleared out here. Uh, we have another two picks left we get a double multiplier so that gives us another pick so we have three remaining again 
we end up getting 200 MT, so that puts us up to 400. And uh, I was getting very nervous. I was already nervous. When it got down to like seven, I started like really worrying. Um, I was thinking about like, I've cleared out 30 picks on this top board and I'm yet to get him. In our final pick, we get one token. So unfortunately, we don't get Glenn Robinson, but all is not lost. We will go again. We open up this Delig Lux pack, which we got from going 10 and 0 in draft. And we do get Mr. Dennis Rodman, a card we already have. So I did put him on the auction house and I will sell him next episode. We also got a diamond shoe boost. We got a plus four to our mid range. It's very nice. And also that Ruby player pack that you guys saw while we're on the Ascension board. We end up getting Mr. Antonio Davis. It'll be a nice addition to uh, any, any lineup pretty much at this time of the year. And another Ruby pack here. We get Mr. Dikembe Mutombo, so another fantastic center, which he'll actually most likely become my starting center, and James Donaldson will come off the bench. Now, 38, I thought it was 35 tokens. We pick up Seth Curry, pick up Kent Bayesball, Paddy Mills, and we also pick up Kelly Oubre Jr. We can max out the Sapphire board. We got him a few minutes ago, all right? We only got him, we got this Sapphire board a few minutes ago, and Ivanka Subak as well to top off that Sapphire board. We are now onto the Ruby board. There's not a lot of great cards on the Ruby board, in my own opinion. You saw there, we also got Team Creation for doing 75 cards. I haven't opened any packs with VC, have no VC on this account at all. We're going at another drop, and bang, straight off the bat, Damian Lillard again, Anthony Edwards, Michael Porter Jr., absolutely love it. We're going through this draft again. I, I promise you, this is worth watching. It's a very, very, very good draft. All right, we don't have the greatest coach in the world. We do take Jason Kidd, though. Jason Kidd is very nice, though. Uh, luckily, we did get him on our third little flip there. Now, for the backup of Damian Lillard, we end up getting Muggsy Bogues. All right, and interestingly enough, during this draft, right, no matter what the lineup is, during this draft, whenever I started, they would always start Muggsy Bogues. The AI, would, like the computer, would automatically start Muggsy Bogues over Damian Lillard. Don't know why that was an issue, but anyway, we take Kirk Heinrich and uh, Bugsy Bogues there for the shooting guard position, a position we're kind of lacking at at the moment. We do get Clay Thompson, Emerald Clay Thompson. You already know that his jump shot is absolute butter. David Wesley, Clay Thompson, welcome to the lineup. I do eventually put Anthony Edwards at the two and Clay at the three when I do do this lineup, so you'll see that later. Uh, but small four position to back up, uh, inevitably Clay. I do start Clay. Jamal Mashburn. We get an Amethyst right there. Latrell Sprewell and also Bill Bradley. So we take Jamal, we take Latrell, add them to the lineup. And so far, look at this lineup again. Very, very juicy. Now, I can't reinstate enough how good Mr. Chris Kamen was. He was the epitome of why my team went 10-0 the first time. He was setting hard screens, good screens, as we pull Larry Bird again and Dirk Nowitzki. A very, very good backup four sets there. Now, the center position was hoping. Chris Kamen, please, mate, come back around. We need you. We get Clint Capella. Started getting a little bit not nervous. Bill Russell. It's not known overall, but Bill Russell. But we get Chris Kamen again. Very, very exciting stuff. Mr. Chris Kamen and Bill Russell add them to the lineup and once again with actually oh, this is a very impressive play don't get don't i don't know what he's trying to do dunking all over chris came and that is his chris came for you snatches everything deluxe league pack and a 10 and 0 ascension board again speed this up again we go to the middle board with 30 picks here get two extra picks and get back up so we have 31 picks so it's automatically without extra picks 61 picks of this top board i know what you're thinking you didn't get him did you took it no i didn't no, I didn't. I, uh, long story short, no, I didn't. I tried to go, do a pattern here, tried to see if anything works. 30, 61 total picks, it, not including extra picks. You can see there we got three extra picks. That's 64. We got two last time. That's 66. We got over 70 picks on the top board across two 10 0 drafts. And I couldn't get Glenn Robertson. I don't know what sort of luck I have. Another two, another single pick there, another two picks. By now, we're nearly 75 picks. It is unbelievable. Look how much of this board I am clearing out. And I couldn't get him. I, I, I don't know why. We get another token there. I'm pretty sure we get a multiplier next as well. I did this one off stream. Um, I ended up going 9-0 on stream and had to go. So I did my 10-0 game. And then I did this, uh, this ascension board. We got some more MT there. I'm pretty sure we get a, a multiplier here, if I'm not mistaken. We do. We get a two times multiplier. So another pick. So I'm thinking, all right, how good this be? 61 total picks, 75 picks, whatever it is. I can choose one more card, and that will be Glenn Robinson. I flip over that card, and uh, and no, it's 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 uh, 350 MT. So unfortunately, we don't get him again. I will keep doing draft, though. I will keep going 10 and 0 for you guys. I want to get this pink diamond. It'll be very handy. Deluxe League Packet, Steve Mix. Not the greatest in the world. A League Base Pack, though. And we end 
end up getting gold George Hill. Probably won't be added to the lineup. A Ruby Pack player. As I said, like, we got a lot of picks. So I, I, I'm inevitably, even though I didn't get Glenn Robinson, I'm very happy with what I am getting. I think that was Isaiah Thomas we got before as well, which would be a nice addition to the lineup. Another Ruby card pick here. We get Austin Carr. Probably won't add to the lineup, but a nice card to have. Ne uh, never the mind. But anyway, do we, ha do we have here an amethyst pull we had an amethyst card we get an amethyst pull power forward number 42 from the minnesota timberwolves the rebounding master himself mr kevin love is now added to the lineup i'll run him at the powerful position and in this game right now season one week one this dude is lights out we have 45 tokens we go back to the ruby market evan fournier welcome to the team i hope i can say that last name on youtube without getting demonetized i'm not sure if i can mitchell robinson for uh, for for domination i just want to have him inside as an inside presence and that's also from a nick fans out there Devonte graham uh pick him up as well very very nice jump shot and here's an updated look at the lineup we have ron boone kent Bazemore, jason tatum kelly Oubre jr and dikembe matumbo i am loving this so far i will also add kevin love for this lineup but so far we're doing very very well there we have it guys i hope you did enjoy this episode of the no money spent account i am grinding this i promise i'm putting all my time and effort into this as much as i can i have another six days off before i go back to uni so I'll be grinding this account as much as I can. Hopefully you guys are doing the same with your no money adventures. Please let me know in the comments what I can do better and also what are you doing in your no money spent account that you think I could do or that others might be able to do as well. And give me an update on your accounts and your lineups while you're at it as well. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate the support in the last one. We hit 22K to so 23K is our next goal. So hopefully we can hit that over the next coming weeks. So I appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic day. Peace.